Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another entertaining, quite possibly thought-provoking, and dare I say, titillating episode of American Falls. We are playing Farming Simulator 22 here on the RQS Gaming Satellite Office, which indeed is one of one offices located in the lower 48 states which of course we all know is in the greater west michigan area which is a subset of the rqs gaming international conglomerated corporation incorporated headquarters which is currently spread throughout the lower 48 contiguous states people scattered about still not wanting to plant themselves in one particular location after leaving washington um they have been difficult to locate I have Chad here, my uh, my intern. Uh, Chad has been very helpful this weekend. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But for now, we are going to um, stop wasting a lot of time. We're going to get started on a silaging contract. Foraging contract. Correct myself. Allow myself to correct myself. Not sure if you all remember what movie that might be from. Allow myself to introduce myself. <clears throat> Why am I starting all the way on this far end of the field? I was so much closer down there. That's all right. We're going to do a little bit different today. I'm not going to tow. Oh, this is, this is not going to work out well. We're going to try it anyways. Um, I'm not going to tow the trailer. We're going to allow... If this gets expensive in a hurry, then we're going to swap this up, but we're going to try like the old New Holland. Got the beast, got the Bergman beast. I believe this is indeed the largest forage wagon in the uh, base game. It is quite large. We're going to, uh, we're going to try and work with a helper today. Like I said, if it gets expensive, then uh, forget that plan, and we will take over all together. But we're going to try this out. Why not? Let's give her a go. Uh, let's go ahead and hire out. Uh, let's see here. I think, ooh, I think I might be too close. Yeah, I would think I was going to be a little close. And let's um let's do this. We're at $73,711. I I don't know that we can afford and I think I've completely forgotten what my I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I can't remember what my what the key combination is for matching speed. That's okay. We can do it without for now. Oh wait, toggle speed limit. No, that's the. That's not the one I want. Set. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait. Sync cruise. Left shift. Three. Oh, okay. I didn't hear a beep. I don't we usually hear a beep when I do that? That's interesting. It's working. No beep, but it's working. So just remind me, we're at seventy-three thousand six seventy. I think we started at seventy-three seven eleven. So yeah, I think this is gonna cost us a few hundred dollars to. Uh, to hire a helper but you know what we're going to consider that the price of doing business right now i'm quite enjoying being able to just be the cart runner and um just having a nice casual a nice casual time just driving alongside uh who is in here today okay that's uh that's mod <laughs> mod Mod, they need to throw a tattoo on Mod. 
Wouldn't she look good with some ink? Whoa, sorry, Mod. Sorry about that. She'd look good with some ink right there, like maybe some tribal work. Maybe it, like some tribal work, or maybe a dragon, or, um, boy, I don't know, something, something, and you know, s something sexy. <laughs> Dropping something sexy, some, some kind of tattoo. I don't know what it would be. Maybe a giant's tattoo. Throw some giant's ink on there. What do you think the likelihood is that somebody in this world, somebody right now has a giant tattoo. I I bet they do. I bet somebody does. Somebody's got it. Or maybe even the farming simulator tattoo. Now, you would be kind of, I don't think it would be very smart, but who am I to say? to get like a farming simulator 22 tattoo because well I don't know maybe that's like getting a, a girl's name and then you break up so you still have you know charity maybe passion <laughs> maybe maybe your ex's name is um, um, Claudine Glenda maybe Glenda I don't know I never I I have I ha I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna share I'm gonna share. I've got a little ink. I do myself have a little ink. Got it many 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 years ago. Um, I was actually completely coherent. This was not one of those weird after bar kind of deals or what have you. But it was a situation where I felt like I needed. I needed some mental change in my life and I got some ink and I got to tell you it was probably one of the best things I did. It was just amazing. Just amazing. I don't know what it was about the timing, the situation, combination, I don't know, but it was just I'm not I'm not sharing this because I think everybody, you know, you kids wait. You kids wait. But I went through that whole phase. I went through the whole phase. You know, the earring phase. I got an earring when I was 20 years old. Um, like I said, but the, but the ink thing was a little different in my life. I'm glad I did it. I don't have I don't have regrets about it. You know, I don't have regrets about it. I think today, I, I don't know if I would get another one today. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. And I don't know what it would be though you know I don't know if I would want like it's always tough because I don't know I feel like there's the cliche tattoo you know that everybody thinks is really unique like oh I got this barcode tattoo well you know it's not it's that's not so unique anymore my buddy wanted to get a barcode tattoo um, and he wanted the barcode to be, I think he wanted it to be like Superman, like have it be Superman. So if you scan it, I don't know. Does that even work? Can you scan a barcode tattoo? A QR code tattoo, I think would be pretty cool. I, I would consider doing a QR code. Now, I don't know though if you can get accurate enough with a QR code tattoo to be able to scan it. But wouldn't that be kind of fun to have a QR code tattoo and then you'd have your buddy come up with his phone and scan the QR code and maybe it would take you to your website or maybe it would take you to, you know, maybe your mugshot if you've been arrested <laughs> or maybe it would take you to your favorite, I don't know, game site. I don't know. You know, it be, might be interesting. Might be interesting. I had a friend that had a... Um, kind of creeped me out a little bit, but uh, got a um, a Barney tattoo. I know we've talked about Barney on the channel. Um, I think he decided that that would he would just be creepy and get a Barney tattoo. Big Bird might be kind of cool. I, I think if I went that route, though, the Sesame Street route, 
I would get a tattoo of Count, uh, the Count Dracula. Either Count Dracula or um, Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch would be would be pretty sweet. He'd be a sweet tattoo. Why are we talking? I don't know why we're talking about tattoos. I just get from one thing to another. It's Monday. It is what it is. Just doing some some foraging work, you know, chilling with some foraging work, which is going quite smoothly so far. I think it's costing, it is costing us, a, it's going to cost us a few hundred bucks, but I'm okay with that just to be able to relax a little bit and not have to deal with towing the trailer. These, um, oh, here we go. Is he, no, is he hung up? Is, wait, is she hung up? Is Mod, Mod waiting for me? Mod's waiting for me. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. That's okay. We can miss a little bit. Don't you worry about that. Got the long stream going. The old 30 footer, I bet. In real life, that's got to be a good 30 feet in real life, right? Still no news from the Giants home front. I don't understand what's going on there. I don't know if... I, I, I assume at this point we're probably not going to hear any big news. At least until maybe summer or fall. I don't know. I'd be surprised if they... It's getting to the point where I'm going to be more and more surprised if we hear... Hey, there's going to be a, a Farm Sim 24. I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're just comfortable enough with, with waiting longer and longer. And maybe they're working on, you know, really stepping up their game for the next version. I don't know. Where are we selling? I think I might have forgotten to look. Michael, Michael Hammond, he looks like a fun guy. Looks like the kind of guy you'd go to the old, you know, maybe American Falls has a little softball league or something. You go to the, the softball game with him, you know, sit in the bleachers, give the uh, give the refs a little bit of a hard time with Michael. I bet he'd be pretty cool that way. We're dumping off at the small fermenting silo, not to be confused with the large fermenting silo which I don't know where that is either. Here's the small fermenting silo. Let's tag it because I have a tendency to, let's just say, not find things. Oh, way over there. All right, let's go see if we can get over there. Let me step up my uh, cruise control. I, I am yet still not completely familiar with this map as far as how the river runs and whatnot. So... I tend to find myself in situations where I need to cross some pretty bad ditches. I'm still um, allowing myself to cross over farmers' f fields, which is probably not very nice. Probably not very nice. All right, let's see. Uh, we can get out here, and I think... Got the wind blowing there. Ooh, okay. Almost took out that fence. Kind of glad I didn't do that. I see the old... The old spaceship tractor beam way over there. A bit of a drive. Should we close... Should we be closing this so that this stuff's not blowing all over the road? Yeah, nice. Very nice. So yeah, this weekend I had a little bit of fun. I, I'm an Amazon fan. I think I've talked about that before. I'm a bit of an Amazon fan. I like Amazon mostly because I just know that, you know, nine ninety nine percent of the time, depending on who you, if you buy from Prime or whoever, if you buy from Amazon, stuff's returnable, right? Stuff is returnable, and it and it really needs to be because you're buying it online. 
And some things, if it's clothes, you can't try them on. If it's different things, you can't hold it in your hand. So you don't really know a lot of times what you're getting into, what you're buying. How do we get over yonder there? I have a feeling I should be taking a right ski. Let's try taking a right. And let's try... Of course, I didn't pay a lot of attention to where we came from. So good luck finding our field again. Um, oh, listen. Very nice. Very nice water calming the calming brook I see you back there buddy I see you I don't know how I'm supposed to get to you can I can I sneak through the old I don't think I can sneak through there I think there was a fence back there let's see if we can sneak let's see if we can get around here let's get the uh Get the GPS action going. Oh yeah, somehow figured that one out. I have no idea. This is not super convenient. Let's see if we can um, find a better way. Oh, you better take this. I think I need to open our, our dealios. Uh, I'm not getting a drop-off. That's concerning to me. I'm not getting a drop-it-off here like we did at the other silo. Why am I not getting a drop-off? Maybe it's around there. Oh, that's because I'm under the drop chute. I think I'm just not quite lined up on the right part of it. Let's try this side over here a little bit. Maybe have a little bit better luck right over here. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Think harder, not smarter. I don't think that's I don't think that's right, but that's what we're gonna say. Is that clock ticking still? Money, money is being withdrawn still while our helper is waiting. I need to remember to fire the helper when we do these deliveries, and then rehire the helper um, when we uh, when we get back. Because right now we're paying Maud to sit there and listen to NPR, and I don't want to pay Maud. I don't want to be paying Mod to sit and listen to NPR while we're doing all the work. All right, let's get uh, let's get cranking. So this isn't a bad paying necessarily a very bad paying uh, job. I think it's twenty one thousand before expenses. I forget how much we paid for the loan on this bad boys on this equipment but I'd be happy if we clear after mods payment and whatnot you know maybe maybe we get 15 15 16 thousand that wouldn't be too shabby I'd be okay with that there's our lovely farm hello lovely farm The old double wide there where we uh, catch some Z's at night. Do I know where I'm going? Um, yes, I do, I guess. I wonder if we would be... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll try and... We're going to do some more field hopping. I kind of hate doing field hopping, but it is the way it is. I think, in fact, this is the field we did a little hopping on last time. As long as nobody sees us, we're covered. I see Mod way over there waiting for us. 
I think I paid mod like 75 at least 75 bucks if not a hundred bucks just to go do this delivery if i'm gonna pay her to to sit there man she can drive the old tractor and do the delivery herself yeah she's waiting she's cranking npr she's wait she's cranking uh what's that show in npr um uh wait wait don't tell me is that what it's called I think there's a wait wait don't tell me and then there's a i used to listen to that once in a while that's all right there was another one by uh, oh it's a really popular one i can't remember the dude's name he's got a bit of a nasally voice kind of tell he's from new york too ira ezra That was all right. I used to, there's a couple shows on NPR I used to uh, listen to. It's not too shabby, but it's not my first radio dialed um, station that I always go to. A little more of a sports talk, sports chat, sports talk. Maybe um, a little bit of news, like local news, maybe. I do remember the glory days of radio, though. It's all that was ever on the radio. What's on the radio? What songs are new? Call in the request line. Where, 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 where what? Mod? <laughs> It's over. Uh, all right, go then if you're going to go. Do it. Seriously? For real? Oh, she heard me laughing at her. Yeah, she got all cranky. All right, let me scooch up. We'll hire out. Whoops. Who do we have now? Oh, Gwen, sweet. Well, that worked out quite well. I should probably tell I should probably tell Chad that uh, his new bride cousin, American Gwen, which of course is the original Gwen, is my driver right now. But he's he's watching Baby Einstein again, so I don't know. If I want to interrupt him. Plus, he's just now getting over being Gwen sick. He's been Gwen sick for a while. It's been rough on the poor little guy. But they've uh, they talk they talk uh, about every day, every other day. Of course, he recently married Gwen's Italian cousin. Might be. Uh, they seem very happy. Being, being halfway around the world from each other. Maybe that's what it takes. I don't know. Maybe that's what it takes nowadays to have a happy relationship. You know, they FaceTime. They FaceTime. Uh, FaceTime's free. So I, I let them. I, no, I'm not talking about you, buddy. Go back to baby Einstein. You all right? He loves that stuff. Sits in his crate. I give him like a, um, I give him like a bowl of water, and he sits in his crate, and he um, watches Baby Einstein with his little bowl of water. Loves it, just loves it. But yeah, this weekend he was doing his chores, uh, being an intern, of course. You don't get weekends off normally, and um, he was doing his chores, and. He told me that he was having hard, a hard time getting some of the rust and lime stains, I guess, out of the bathtub. And um, I'm like, well, dude, you, you know, Chad, you got you know, elbow grease, buddy. Elbow grease. And um, so about 10 minutes later, he came back and he's like, I still can't get it all out there, he said. But, you know, it looks like you've got some toilet bowl cleaner. I don't know if any of you have used this stuff. 
this Lysol. It's called Lysol uh, Rust and Lime. I think it's Rust and Lime. I'm over here. There you go. Rust and Lime Remover. It's a toilet bowl cleaner. It is wicked stuff. It's wicked stuff. Good stuff. It does an amazing job. It smells a little uh, sulfuric-y. You know? I think that's the toilet bowl cleaner. Anyways, I told him to use that, man. He asked, you know, can we use it in the in the bathtub? And I'm like, I don't see why not. You know, it's it's kind of like some people don't want to drink water from the bathroom faucet. Never made any sense to me. You know, drink water from the uh, from the bath from the bathtub faucet. It's the same water, and I get it. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. But, you know, theoretically, technically, same water. So I'm like, hey, go for it, man. You know, just squirt the wall, <laughs> squirt the walls of the bathtub and let it just drain down the sides like you would the toilet. Just let it drain down the sides and, um, you know, let it sit. Let it sit for 10, 15 minutes and, and go after it. See what see how it does. And I'll be darned. I'll be darned. It worked pretty, pretty stinking well. I bet it worked better. I bet that toilet cleaner worked better in cleaning that bathtub than bathtub, like dedicated bathtub cleaner ever has. I used to use this stuff like Lime Away or something like that. It was pretty good too. It had kind of that, that sulfuric -y acid smell to it or whatnot. But yeah, did a good job. Did a good job. Chad was happy. I was happy. Uh, because he did a great job with the bathroom, we let him. Uh, we let him move on to the kitchen. He was on a roll, man. He cleaned the kitchen up good. I mean, he's he's a little tiger. Once you get him wound up and going, uh, there you go. There you go. You saw it, Gwen. Did she quit on me too? Oh no, she didn't quit. She doesn't want to do that part. Yeah, this kind of field throws him off this broken up business seems to give the hired helpers it seems to, it seems to confuse the hired hand <laughs> I don't know here we go let's go girl yeah get some nice she's got it she figured it out oh maybe not oh no 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 what are we doing no, 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 no. All right, I'm just going to rock with you for now. I'm just going to go with it, and we'll see if she can... She's going to do this little part, and then go to there and do that little part. Or completely quit on me. see where she goes hit the tree nope nice nice very fascinating to see what she does here will she start right there all right I guess that's a reverse all the way oh she might reverse all the way nope 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 not gonna reverse all the way I was kind of hoping she'd almost reverse all the way back to the end. Let me swing around here. I mean, we're foraging this stuff, so I guess it doesn't really matter if I drive over it. Let's go see where you go from here. Gwen's her own kind of gal. Very determined. Still wearing that <laughs> that uh, <clears throat> excuse me that Danskin <laughs> Danskin striped. <laughs> uh, I don't know what are those sweatpants. They're not really sweatpants, I guess. Are they? <clears throat> I don't know what the actual technical name of those kind of pants are.
just got me going all over the place, man. I really don't want to do this. Oh. I'm trying to figure out what method of absolute madness this hired helper Gwen, I'm I don't understand. I'm trying to follow your logic here, but Yeah, she's losing her mind. Is she going to stop? She shouldn't stop here because there should be just enough on the left-hand side to keep her going. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. So we'll just have this whole middle part here to kind of clean up, I guess, more or less. Whoops. did update course play to the latest beta version. I think it's like 7.4.11 if you're interested, if you're on PC or Mac <clears throat> and you like keeping up with those kind of things. Looks like they just released that, I believe today, Sunday, maybe yesterday. But it's a, uh, still has that new course play smell. So if you're interested in picking it up and you like to keep up with the latest, once in a while, you'll pick up a bug that wasn't there before, but course plays usually pretty been really good about that. I only had, um, I think I only had one version that had a couple problems. There was one version um, not too long ago that you could see the um, I'm not going to forget to do this this time. I'm firing our helper. <clears throat> but yeah, there was one version not too long ago that had a... You could see like the alignment. <clears throat> some kind of weird lines. The game generated lines. Like this kind of a thing. Oh, cruise control. There you go. There you go. But usually it's pretty solid. They usually don't change too much to where it gets kind of crazy. So kind of rinse and repeat a little bit on this contract, but we'll try and get as much of this done here on the first day of July. I think we'll be in pretty good shape. We're in good shape on the farm. We've got our, we got our grass mode. We have uh, bales. Oh yep. Yeah. There's fine. There's an accident finally. Where are we hung up. Oh yeah, we're hung up. We're hung up. Let's see if I can get. Oh, I might have to get Gwen over here with the... Come on, New Holland. You can do it. Oh, man, that guardrail is just getting wrecked. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite trick. I don't know why I think it I think it releases the tension or something but if you disconnect if you get stuck like that I've noticed and you disconnect it and then you reconnect it and give it give it the beans a lot of times she'll uh she'll unstuck for you so I'm sure most of you don't need that because you're better drivers than I am but uh in case you do find yourself hung up on a guardrail that's Quite a nice little trick I've learned. 
It's funny how you learn all these tricks when you're horrible at driving, right? I think we're going to call that good for this episode. I'm going to I'm going to keep working on this, I think, and hopefully we can get this wrapped up yet today. But uh we'll see. Maybe we'll uh, pick up where we left off here. And grind this out. But you all take care of yourselves. Thanks again so much for joining me. I always appreciate you guys tuning in even if even if you don't <laughs> even if you don't want to. Wait, can we get can we get into uh, can we get into this place through here? I doubt it. No, cause the I'm trying. I don't think so, Brad. I don't think so. I think you pushed your luck. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, as always. And uh, I hope you all have a really, really good Monday. We'll be back here at American Falls tomorrow for some uh, hijinks. Actually, you know what? I bet I could have. I bet I could have gotten over there through that. Now that I see how she's laid out. Maybe we'll give that a go next time. But yeah, you all take care of yourselves. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed. I appreciate that. As always, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to uh, join our Discord. And, of course, become a member. And uh, you will... Uh, once you become a member, let me know if you want to uh, hop on the multiplayer server. And uh, there's a fence there. So that's the one I almost hit last time. And uh, we'll get you the... Uh, the multiplayer server info so you can hop out there have some fun have some fun we are on uh saskatchewan right now and it's running pretty good it ran really good this weekend <clears throat> excuse me so thanks for that gen x for uh making sure that thing runs smoothly appreciate that you all take care and i'll see you real soon bye for now